Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see source code for implementing single sign-on in MDM. In earlier session, we have seen how the basic concept about what is the single sign-on, how what is the need of implementing single sign-on, what are the applications which are considered for single sign-on that is SSO implementation. In today's session, we are going to see how to implement using Java. So let's start. So there are a couple of classes. Uh, in Java, we know that the basic component is class. So we have to develop a couple of classes in order to implement the SSO. The very first class we need to implement is custom logic uh, login provider. Of course, we can give any name to this class, but uh, this is just standard practice. So you can use your company name like ABC login provider or something like that. Here in this login provider, what logic we have to implement? The logic we need to implement is we have to retrieve the username from the SO, SSO specific field that is available in the HTTP request. As I said in earlier session, so the SSO will be an additional layer on top of your application. So whenever someone uh, access your application, that that has to go through SSO layer. So SSO layer will first layer where the user will provide the username and the password. Then the application will retrieve the username from that request. Then it is required to populate the payload field which is one of the required field uh, in order to go through the authentication so the payload field will with uh, any specific format which you will decipher in user profile provider code that is another uh, Java class which we'll see soon if you want you can also implement the on logout method where you can either redirect the user to any custom logout page or redirect the, redirect the user back to the auto login mode. For the auto login mode, copy the same code with the redirect to provide a login page to the on, lo on logout method. In the same auto login mode, if you click the logout, then re login happen automatically. What does it mean? If user log out, what action you would like to give, or what page you would like to you would like to show to the user, that has to be implemented if you really inter, uh, if really require. Otherwise, the default behavior will come into the place. This is the class we uh, mentioned in our uh, earlier uh, slide. That is custom user profile provider. This is a very important class. Uh, so what it does once the request is sent from the user through SSO the very first will happen is username will be retrieved in the custom login provider and the payload will be payload field will be populated in the custom user profile provider we have to retrieve the value from the payload for the security from the security credential based on the format used in our earlier that is the login provider then we have to populate the field called as a user profile. We have to set the cache configuration. This is for the bet better performance of the uh, of the custom uh, uh, authentication, such as enabling the user profile cache, cache period, and so on. This will cache the user profile details for the specific duration within the server to improve the performance. Then another class is required to implement its custom login module.java this is normally used to setting the cache and some additional properties so so this, these are the code and then we'll finally see how to create a jar file it is not required to include the library jar files even if you include it will not uh, create any problem it will just sit there the jar file has the following structure it's a meta inf then properties provider dot properties and will class structure will be like com dot info dot sso and the class files 
and then we can export it so let's go ahead and see some code so very first code we are going to say is custom login provider so we have to create a project you can give any name so for example in this case it is SSO sample the very first is we have to see the provider how the provider will look like the provider as I said it will retrieve the username from the HTTP request so the name of the class is custom login provider which implement login provider this login provider present if you see here it is present in Cyprian BDD security login provider so uh, this is present in that jar file of course we, we can implement the logger this is just initiation of logger the logs will be uh, inserted in application server then we have to write the constructor one uh, once you write the constructor we also have to write the initialization if you want to initialize any other properties you, you have the access to this property you can access this from here so these are just basic implementation nothing is going there right this moment but in future if you want to implement anything you can have that control then we have to implement the method called as extract login credential which accept the HTTP server request so it's a servlet again so if you are aware about the J2E so this is the one of the requests get sent in the application server so we have the request from the request we have to retract couple of parameters like username is one of that so it's a parameter list we have to just uh, iterate it and get the parameter and its corresponding values from the request also uh, from the request when we get this request object we have to get the attribute names also so there are parameters and attributes I will not explain what this because this is part of J2E so it will just will retrieve the attribute and see this corresponding values from the request we can get the IP address we can get the username we can get the session ID session ID is optional so all this information is available once it is available we can check whether username is null or not null if it is not then it, uh, by default we can assign if it is not null then uh, oh, we just trim it in worst case if there is a trim, uh, if the user is providing some extra spaces and set this username as a session attribute so we are setting as a dummy and the request session is valid is checked if it is invalid means if the in, someone is might be using just link uh, from the cache and inject they try to rehit then it should redirect to this page rather than proceeding in that same session so that's the purpose and then we also need to use the payload and this is the way it is like payload equal to SSO username and the session ID and this payload will be available to use so these are the thing we are going to get additional to, to that we have to call the login credentials which actually uses a payload in the UTF-8 format and once the login credential object is ready we can set the first name last name so that user this can be used in setting uh, the first name last name at the application side so these are these are the things happen in the login provider additional method is also available just uh, in order to, if you want to encode the component URL or to get the logo image uh, user ID login form etc on logout we are just returning nothing so so here you can implement if you want to redire redirect your request to specific page if you uh, if user logout or if user use option logout then we have the redirect to provider login page so either you can redirect here from the logout or you can provide it to some other uh, page this method uh, has input request and a re response also with a redirect URL so from the request we can retry the BDD name that is application name and if the application name is not null then we can add the login.jsf BDD underscore name and the application name or if it is null uh, or it is uh, if the BDD application null if nothing is coming then we can just redirect to the login page so this is for the redirecting your request so you can call from any of the classes then we have the request login credential nothing is implemented if required we can use this method 
for accessing like uh, login credentials so it has the two parameters as an input so that is very first class that is uh, we need to implement that is login provider the next class is user profile provider user profile provider is something like that so we just got the login provider which is a kind of super or very first class then we have the uh, user profile provider which implement uh, custom user profile provider which implement the user profile provider again the from the same security class you can see user profile provider it has a uh, couple of methods uh, first of all we have to initialize the list of collection object we call it capabilities then we have to also initialize the properties we have the static block with the uh, create user profiler uh, just one value and we have the properties which you just created but we are loading here properties uh, from the uh, from the map now the user uh, profile will be returned for the method create user profile what this method is doing it is accepting the credential what are the payload we set in our earlier case in the logging provider that will be used to get these details so so payload will be uh, accessed if it is null then we are returning if it is not null then we are retri retrieving the session and server so that is very important to access your application then the tokenization tokenization uh, or tokenizer will uh, will be created by using string tokenizer and using the comma and based on the comma we will retrieve the from the payload we will retrieve the username we will retrieve the session id etc the uh, the credential security credential dot get database id will retrieve ret retrieve the database id and those can be logged also if it is not critical then we will create the user profile like username we are going to set the what is the user what is the bdd payload etc bdd payload have the user session id and the database id we are going to also set the cache that is the session id so that performance will be better whether it's a cacheable through and set expiration and set lifetime also we have the get capabilities and has capa uh, capability methods for the additional functionalities so once it is done so what next class the next class is mostly for handling the cache that is custom login provide uh, custom login module so this module will look like this so this is for the better cache handling how to handle cache so it is standalone method it is not implement uh, it is standalone class it is not implementing any super class here but if you see it has the uh, global variable called as a callback handler this callback handler it's it's a reference here so we have to initialize so initialize will happen in the initialize method with the help of the callback handler and will be called by the application internally so we don't have to worry for that how it is getting called it has a method called as login because this is the uh, login will be accessed user profile callback object will be created and in that from that uh, uh, object get profile will be accessed and callback handler will call in the handle with the user profile callback and will also check the payload if it is payload is present if it is not present will returning to its home page or redirect it once we have the user profile we'll get the payload from that which will get the uh, username and also the database id and based on that we we can set the cache uh, for the profiles for the user given user profile we are go also going to check the database id uh, if the database id is not null then we are going to get that database id you can see uh, we are just checking the database id and we are getting all these e rows which are associated with the given user so once the roles are retrieved, we are checking uh, role IDs and role names here, and we are just uh, setting those roles and role IDs in the user profile. Once it is set, so this cache is complete. There are other methods such as commit, abort, and logout, which is not necessarily need to be implemented. But this is the way you can implement the cache for setting user profile. 
this is the one of the thing there are some other supporting tables also or supporting classes also there like custom bdd payload so you don't have to worry uh, to set the payload every time so this is one of the helper class we can use to set the uh, username session id and database so it's like pojo class which can be used very easily we also have the another uh, factory class called as a user profile provider factory it is used to initialize your classes in a um, factory manner or it's like factory design pattern so we are just creating object of custom user profile provider and setting some properties so if you want to read those properties you can read from your class so those are the things happens and this once you develop this custom code the next thing is we have to generate the jar file it's very simple we don't have to worry about the what are the jar files used here we have to just right click and there is an option called as a let me show you export and you can select the jar go here and I just name as a SSO jar custom S I will mention as a custom SSO jar just remove this I'll just copy this path you can either if you want to you include class path or if you want to include jar dot project it's up to you it's not mandatory and the left hand side also you can select or unselect what are the objects you want to select I would recommend keep the meta and app and the source and click finish if there is no error there is uh, no uh, uh, errors present in your class jar will be generated right now we are just getting warning we can ignore this that is normal warning and I'll just go here and we'll see whether jar file is generated or not and I can see the jar file is generated and this is ready to deploy so there are so many activities involved how to use this jar file what this jar file contains how to use in IDD how to use in MDM hub we are going to see in the upcoming session so thank you for watching this video I hope you are enjoying uh, the uh, MDM hub uh, tutorials as well as the demos if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you again have a nice time